Hi, my name is Terry O'Brien, and I'm a member of the Lynx Design System development team. I'm going to give you a brief introduction demo of the Lynx Design System. Before we start the demo, let's first review some of the Lynx benefits. Lynx is a mature design system. It has been used on hundreds of product tapeouts over the past 10 plus years. It's a Synopsys product with regular releases and backed by dedicated development and support staff. Lynx can enhance team productivity. It provides coherent flows, promotes correct tool usage, and simplifies design flow creation and management. It also provides automation that can help get the most out of your compute resources. Lynx delivers a productivity flywheel effect. It can help jumpstart productivity in the first project with even greater gains on subsequent projects. Lynx can improve predictability. Its flows are built on the latest recommended methodologies, as well as reflecting years of expert best practices. These flows are pre-validated during development across multiple technologies and design styles. The automation in Lynx can reliably execute tasks, as well as transparently capturing metrics without overloading the design team. Later analysis of metric data can lead to improved project insights and predictability. Finally, Lynx was designed with an understanding that one size does not fit all. That is why it was architected for flexibility. It's an opened design system which allows for easy modification and extensions. Customers configure to capture their own design process. Let me take the next eight minutes and I'll give you a brief tour of Lynx. I'm starting a Lynx application that is used to configure and execute design flows within the Lynx system. From this compact main window, users have direct access to variable editing, flow editing, and flow execution. This area shows all the blocks that are part of this design workspace. Let me begin by showing you the environment used to manage setup and usage of the project variables. Lynx employs the common practice of using variables to provide consistent references to critical information. In this respect, Lynx design flows are no different than other production quality flows. However, Lynx is different in that it provides facilities to help simplify management of these variables. The Lynx built-in variable editors provide access to every variable in the system with convenient features such as categories for organizing related variables and filtering for quickly locating variables. There is also built-in documentation for each variable for greater understanding. This environment includes specialized checks to ensure that variables are correctly captured. This helps avoid mistakes that could cause an impact during project development. It's important to note that all variable information in Lynx is user definable. This means customers can extend the system and define their own variable definitions while still taking advantage of these productivity features. This is part of the process enablement mentioned in the benefit slides. We've just seen some of Link's variable editing features. Now, let's take a look at its flow editing features. A full RTL to GDS flow requires many invocations of different tools in a coordinated order. The Link's flow editor allows flows to be constructed in either a flat or a hierarchical fashion. This is an example of a hierarchical flow referencing four different subflows. Subflows can be used to help manage the complexity of a complete flow, and perhaps more importantly, allow grouping of related tasks according to functionality and design member skill sets and responsibilities. Let's push into a subflow and take a closer look at the details. Links flows are constructed using visual semantics 
similar to that of traditional flow diagrams. The visual nature of links flows serves to concisely communicate and document flow content, improving communication among project members. Our visual semantics cover a wide range of capabilities, including support for decision making, as indicated by the red diamonds. Access to task configuration is simple and direct. Let's take a look at an example tool invocation. Basic controls allow specification of which tool to invoke. The open nature of links allows new tools to be easily added to the system. Each tool invocation can be paired with a specific script for execution. All scripts are in ASCII format and allow for easy modification. Note how the links automatically extracts a description from the script and makes it available in the GUI. Simple scripting conventions allow users to create their own scripts and easily take advantage of the link's automation. Other task properties include tool version control, job distribution options, and error checking specifications. Once a flow has been edited, Links Automation is capable of assembling the subflows into a complete top flow for execution. Once flows have been captured with the flow editor, they can be executed using the Links built in flow automation. The internal flow automation can run each job configured in the flow diagram. It performs error checking on resulting logs, and it can process metrics associated with each job. Advanced features of the flow automation include task pipelining for greater throughput, and dynamic optimization of job resource requests. As a flow is running, execution and result status is provided for every task and highlighted in the GUI. As tasks complete, direct access to log files and report files is provided, as well as direct loading of a resulting database into an interactive tool session. Tasks can also be run individually in either batch or interactive fashion, which is useful for stepping through scripts for development or debug. This execution view also provides a direct link back to the flow editor. At the end of each job task executed, automation gathers metrics from the log files. These metrics are sent to a centralized SQL database, which provides persistent metric storage. As the final portion of this demonstration, we'll take a look at the Management Cockpit application, which is used to report on data stored in this SQL database. The Management Cockpit, which we are now looking at, runs on both Linux and Windows systems. The reporting process involves two basic steps. The first task is to create a report specification. A report specification is created by selecting one of the built-in report types and then adding parameters to tailor the report as needed. The completed report specifications are stored in the centralized database to facilitate sharing and reuse. The second task is executing the report specification, which generates the report results. The report results are displayed, displayed directly in standard web browsers and are also stored in the database to facilitate sharing. Reports can be generated that address a variety of needs. For example, from an engineering perspective, reports can be used to reflect the detailed progression of design parameters during a specific run of the flow. 
As another example, from a project management perspective, reports can be used to easily roll up top-level status for multiple blocks in a hierarchical design. Let me recap the Lynx demo highlights. I showed you how Lynx provides valuable visualization for flow editing, managing of project variables, and monitoring flow execution status. I also showed the flexibility for configuring flows and tasks. Teams can share standard flow solutions, yet have easy ways to locally modify as required. I highlighted some of the powerful Lynx automation for getting optimal throughput with your compute servers, tying execution errors and status back to the visual environment, and for transparently capturing metrics for every project task. Finally, I showed how the captured metrics can be analyzed for valuable project insights. That concludes my demo. Thanks.